everybody video here for you today now i'm starting to work on this on wednesday i'll probably get it uploaded friday or sometime over the weekend i'm not sure how long this is going to be but looking over some messages i've had some requests for a few videos asking me if i've ever done certain things we're going to talk about more than a few underwater discoveries in this area that'll take care of a lot of requests here because some of these messages i have covered them and there's going to be a few places that are going to be reviewed that I've covered. And a couple places I haven't talked about for a long time. So let's just get to it. First, let's just talk about the Black Sea here. There was a discovery made right off the coast of Bulgaria in very deep water. This was made in 2018. Shipwreck here that proves to be really about the oldest one we got. You notice right down here when the Aegean flooded over the Bosphorus at the Sometime when sea levels rose drastically, it left all this ancient flooding remnants at the bottom of the Black Sea there. Clear evidence of ancient flooding. I will leave all these links below, but here is ancient shipwreck, a story from about a year and a half ago. This is a story of what was found at the bottom of the Black Sea, about a mile down a Greek sailing ship from about 2400 years ago, the time of Plato. The Black Sea, of course, was once a freshwater lake until the Aegean Sea, due to sea level rise, poured over the Bosphorus and filled it up with salt water and the anoxic environment of the water at this depth preserves wood very, very well. Sailing ship from 2,400 years ago. Here's another website I will leave below. It says, and although no one has ever seen a Greek trading ship of this age, the design is strikingly familiar to nautical archaeologists and historians. The wreck bears an undeniable resemblance to a ship painted on a vase from around 400 BC. Now on display in the British Museum, the so-called Siren Vase depicts a scene from Homer's Odyssey. And there's a look at that right there. This wreck was found about 50 miles off the Bulgarian coast. And it's a mile down, so divers can't reach it, so this really preserves it. But the main goal of the research here was to determine or figure out how Ice Age flooding filled up the Black Sea. But this is a pretty interesting place. And I remember watching a documentary by Robert Ballard a long time ago on the discovery he made down there. And that was a pretty big story when that broke. And he will be mentioned a little later in this video. Here's a story that just came out a couple days ago, Impossible Discovery of World's Oldest Shipwreck Exposed. This came out, I believe, on the 29th of April, just two days ago, and I will leave the link below. It says a ship was found in October 2018 by Professor John Adams, the principal investigator, and the rest of his team at the Black Sea Maritime Archaeology Project. Professor Adams said after the find, a ship surviving intact from the classical world, lying in over two kilometers of water, is something I would have never believed possible. He says the shipwreck will give us a better understanding of shipbuilding and seafaring coming from the ancient world. Let's move on. Now, just a brief review because I did a video on this last fall, but what was found off Alexandria here, a lot of fascinating finds were made in just over 20 feet of water here. This place maybe got going about 3,000 years ago, and then by maybe 1,200 years ago, this place was underwater. I will leave this link below. This is a pretty recent story by Archaeology, as told by Herodotus. And it shows a ship here at the bottom of the Mediterranean, just the hull of it remaining. It's a pretty cool pick right there. It says a ship was sunk before the mid 4th century BC and pinned to the seabed with wooden poles, and it seems to have been used to increase the strength of a nearby pier. And that's a rendering of the ship right there. Here's a video I did last fall on the underwater ruins of Heraklion. And this comes from last November. And these ruins sit in very shallow water. And it's not really a big mystery why these ruins lay here. It all has to do with geology and where this ancient city was built and what it was built upon. But the real mystery is what is out in over 100 feet of water out from these ruins. and I included a lecture from Graham Hancock in this video. Mr. Hancock dove on what was further out from Heraklion, and he found these massive stones on the bottom. And this really hasn't been looked into a lot here. I'll leave it to Mr. Graham Hancock to go diving. 
in a place where nobody has ever really noted or researched before. But that was fascinating. I include that in this video here, and I will include this link below. Next story, some of my old subs might remember, but we're going to go down to the Aegean Sea here. And Robert Ballard made a pretty cool discovery. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this again is I haven't mentioned it for a couple of years. I think it was 2018, the last time I talked about this, but Robert Ballard made a discovery down here, Stone Circles, when he was looking for some warships off of Anzac Beach. I think this is the area somewhere right down here. Let's just go listen to a lecture. And these have not been covered at all, I believe, except on my channel. So I think this is important to re-upload this clip. Here it is, pretty fascinating find that he made quite a while ago. Because we constantly are making discovery. We just, we just got back. We were out in the ship and we were doing all sorts of crazy things. And we were doing a thing with National Geographic on the Battle of Gallipoli off of the, in the Aegean, uh, looking for these warships uh, from the time of uh, World War I. And we found them and we we're all sorts of cool. And we're looking, but what I love about what I do is most of the really important discoveries I made were done by accident looking for something else. I didn't expect to find those clams. I didn't expect to find those black smokers. There's so many of my discoveries that I did not, I stumbled on them. And here's another classic example. So National Geographic says, go find these warships. And we go, yeah, cool, we know sort of where they are. We'll mow the lawn, find them. So I'm going in here, and I'm trying to find a battleship called the HMS Triumph up here off Anzac Beach. And we found it. But as I was coming in on the area where the battleship was, I look over my sonar and I see this. I see a ring, a circular ring that's 45 meters across with a, some sort of structure in the middle. What is that? That is probably a site of human habitation 9,000 years ago when that particular piece of real estate was above water. A Neolithic site, one of the oldest now discovered. And we went down and walls of stone, we found 12 of them. We're heading back there to do some more on them in a few months. Now, ever since I first uploaded that, maybe four years ago at least, I've always looked for further research on this, can't find it. But that is an interesting story coming from this part of the world. Next story, why don't we go right down here to something that a lot of people have heard about that was found down here. Discovery made 1901, right off the island of Antikythera, right here, Greek islands. People were diving here, made a pretty incredible discovery. Here's a story from just last week, four amazing astronomical discoveries from ancient Greece. It says the first astronomical calculator, the world's oldest surviving mechanical calculator is the Antikythera mechanism. The amazing device was discovered in an ancient shipwreck off the Greek island of Antikythera in 1900. I've read 1901, but you get the gist. It says the device is now fragmented by the passage of time, but when intact, would have appeared as a box housing dozens of finely machined bronze gear wheels. When manually rotated by handle, the gears spun dials on the exterior showing the phases of the moon, the timing of lunar eclipses, and the positions of the five major planets then known, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. They have a video attached here. I'm slowing it down, but it says we don't know who built it, but it dates to sometime between the third and first centuries BC. It may even be a work of Archimedes. Gearing technology with sophistication of the Antikythera mechanism was not seen again for another thousand years. Sadly, the majority of these works were lost to history and our scientific awakening was delayed by a millennium. As far as news stories, here's one from last fall. Bones discovered at Greek Antikythera Mechanism Shipwreck Site. And they actually have a video attached here of the Black Sea underwater site. I talked about at the beginning of the video. It says a new hall of discoveries can be added to the list of treasures found at the Antikythera wreck site, the remains of an ancient Greek vessel that dates back to the first century BC. An underwater archaeological research team excavating the wreck off the island of Antikythera have found bones, possible olive pits, as well as a bronze age ring, an iron stub with a circular end, said a press release from Greece's Ministry of Culture. And this story dates from October, 2019.
Here are a few looks at the underwater shipwreck site where this famous device was found. Certainly a lot was found down here, right off the coast of Greece. Some of these artifacts are coming to the surface here, right off the coast of this island. This artifact is something that I don't even remember talking about, maybe just a mention of this. So I wanted to include this in today's video. And here is a recreation of it that was made in 2007. But this was a very important underwater find for sure. Now these five stories that I'm doing, you may have heard of one of these or three of these or all five of them, maybe, if you follow my channel. But this one I talked about a couple years ago, a lot of people did. The find was made right offshore down here, 200 meters offshore. So right down this area. Here's a story from 2018, Atlet Yam, A Journey into Israel's Sunken Past. And here is the monument underneath the waters of the Mediterranean. It says, there really is no limit to the number of archaeological wonders in Israel. Virtually anywhere you look, there is something wonderful to discover. But hidden beneath the water, there is also an entire world, which has been overtaken by nature, silently existing next to the observable land sites that wants to tell us the story of a prehistoric past. This is in about 37, 40 feet of water. It says the 9,000 year old submerged stone circle at Atle Yam. It says sites from this period with published human remains are few, but Atle Yam yielded a significant number of human burials, which help us in our attempt to understand this vanished society. Through the remains, we have learned that the population had to cope with diseases such as tuberculosis and malaria, and some skeletons had specific ear pathology symptomatic of diving in cold water. I will leave the link for this below, but maybe this is contemporary with the site in the Aegean Sea talked about earlier in the video. But it says the inhabitants were buried, placed in a flex position on their sides or backs, sometimes in group graves. There is somebody at least 9,000 years old found at the bottom of the Mediterranean. Here is an artist's conception of the site. When it was above ground, but we know this one underwater probably about 9,000 years ago. So sites on land that look like this, it'll help us to determine the age here. Here's a story that just came out last week about 15 strange underwater finds. And here is a look at the site. There was a well here, maybe a spring coming up. The site covered a vast area underwater, 9,000 years old, pretty cool. There is five ancient news stories coming from the underwater world. Some of those just been updated in recent days. But the Mediterranean, the Aegean, the Black Sea, Egypt. I'm sure this area still has many mysteries to hide, but those are a few of them. Hope some of those were new to you. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.